was like the laughing face. Yeah, of course it didn't affect the numbers. Was, Did it? Didn't it though? I do think it should, would have been bigger. Could it? Could it have been? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Like I mean, because this is what happened with Black Panther too, and I don't think you could say that it affected Black Panther's I don't, numbers. I don't, at I don't all. think it was a different thing with Black Panther um, because and and you know I will say this about the the Rotten Tomato stuff where you can call trolls and you can say everything else, but you know having been inside that Star Wars world, when you look at the the reviewed numbers for the Last Jedi and then the audience score for the Last Jedi, they are polar opposite. Right. But I agree with the audience reaction not the critic reaction right so that's one example where i look at those numbers and i'm like the reviews are the ones that are bogus right not the audience score so how brie larson rolled this out i mean i i like brie larson i think she's talented i can't wait to see captain america um but captain marvel, captain marvel yeah. sorry i can't wait to see captain marvel um i think she's she's awesome i've always thought she's awesome but i thought that the way that she sort of rolled this out when she started in with the um i don't want white males you know doing all my press stuff and i don't want this what winds up happening is everybody else who's sort of in that marvel universe they all realize that they have their personal feelings towards things but the characters they play and the world they play them in are bigger than themselves right and I, I, I think that it was an overstep for Brie Larson with fans to sort of take that, make it personal, make it all about her when the characters are bigger than that. Because audiences did not have this reaction when it was Wonder Woman. Right. You know what I mean? There was no anti-female this with Wonder Woman because people love the character Wonder Woman. People love the character Captain Marvel. It's just what they say in the lead up to it. And it turns a lot of people off. And if they don't care that it turns a lot of people off, that's fine. Do it. I'm not saying don't do it. Live your life. But you have to expect this kind of stuff. And when negativity happens, you can't just blame it on trolls who don't know what they're talking about. Uh, Shirley says, I love the movie entirely. Uh, Eddie says the trolls are desperate and scared of a woman in the strong world. That's not true. I, I highly disagree with you. Okay. And, I'll, and, I'll tell, and I'll tell you why. Um, one, it didn't happen with Wonder Woman. Mm -hmm. Right? Well, it People did, embraced it Wonder Woman. Mm -hmm. They embraced the character Wonder Woman. That movie did incredible at the box office. It didn't happen. It's when the actors or the publicity machine start dismissing the audience which is what they did with Captain Marvel. Because I'll tell you right now, all the fanboys who are accused of being trolls, right, to say that they won't embrace a female star in these movies is so wrong because I guarantee every single one of them that's being accused of a troll loves Sarah Connor and loves Ripley from Alien. Those are two movies that they grew up on and watched repeatedly that are both led by women and it never mattered. It's only when the narrative becomes you're not important to a, a specific audience that that's when you get these so-called trolls coming out. Because it didn't happen with Wonder Woman, it never happened with Terminator, and it never happened with Alien. And it's the same fans. Well, we have to wonder too, that means social media wasn't a thing back then, right? But fans are fans though. You, it, you then a boycott would happen. You wouldn't go see these movies. I wouldn't have Alien on every single format Alien was ever released on if I didn't want to watch a movie with a woman. Right, but if the social media boycott had really been affected with Captain Marvel, it wouldn't be the, the sixth biggest opening in the, in the world ever, or the seventh big Marvel movie, or third but biggest Marvel. But it could have been number one. You don't know. I know, but you, yeah, but you don't know what well, happened. No, but you, Twitter no, but was around when aliens no, came no, but out, you, or, or but, Twitter, but it's or not. This, but it's not. Out. It's not the same thing because they never insulted the audience. And what Brie Larson did was insult as a huge, a huge portion of the audience. Yeah. Okay. She did.